Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Sahil Varma and I welcome you to the web series of Programming Fundamentals 101. So this is a course in which we will be learning about the basic terminologies to know the basic fundamentals of programming of every language. So my name is Sahil Varma. I am a C++ and Python developer and uh, working with Vira Academy now. So about this course, we will be having some of the basic terminologies and definitions like the fundamental concepts that you need to know to develop the code or do the basic programming. So I believe that programming and IT knowledge is the basic requirement of nowadays. So I'm making this course <coughs> videos. Uh, the the topics that we will be covering in this course will be basic terminologies, algorithms, OOPs and concepts that is object oriented con concepts and uh, IDEs and setups, interpreters, compilers and the basic syntax. So let's get started. <clears throat> the first, first lecture is on basic terminologies and definitions. So, uh, yes, so the first question directly, what is programming? So programming is a set of instructions given in a specific manner to perform a specific task. See, if I want to do some job, I, I'm having some task to complete. I have to do it in a specific manner so that it's completed. So it's like if I'm making making tea, I cannot just directly start with pouring the water in the cup and uh, finishing off the other things afterwards. So we have to follow a specific task and procedure to do any, 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 any work. So uh, we give actually in programming concepts, say we are definition familiar with the input, output and processing concept of computers. We know that computer takes input, processes it and gives output. But what we are really interested is the programming concept in the computers so instructions those are given in programming perspective can be of different types for example uh, the one that i gave is a real life example of making tea uh, the other examples can be like you want to open a browser that's also counted as an instruction playing a song you want to play your favorite song on your app regardless of whether it's your mobile it's your laptop or tablet or pc it's still an instruction or writing down a five million lines of code to figure out how to go to the mars all of them counts under the same category known as instructions so we are to give a specific instructions in a specific manner that is programming let's take an example we have our angry bird here we want to defeat this pig sitting right up here. So we have to give instructions to our angry bird so that it goes and defeat the defeat the pig over there. So uh, we must be careful with our instruction because we also have a TNT which which can cause us our bird to die. So we we have to solve this problem in this uh, instruction wise. We have to figure it out how it will be working. I know it's it's it sounds kind of lame in the basics, but uh, this concept was also one of my basic and most intu intuitive part that I became a programmer. So let's just check that part and start it out. Let's see. We have our Angry Bird here. Wait a second. We have our Angry Bird right up here. Yes, and we want to go make it further, like goes one two three so the first thing we make is make our bird move three steps forward okay so when it is right up here we want to make it face right hand side so this side we want to make it face this side after that we want to make it walk two steps ahead again one and two and that's it done we have reached to the pig and uh, the task is complete so 
this is one of the major thing that we have to follow in instructions they should be specific and correct for, uh, suppose if i give uh, wrong instructions for example i just give him to move move three steps ahead right now if i if i give it to move two steps ahead instead of giving it three steps it will end up uh, facing right hand side over there and if i walk one more step it will be tnt and it will get my bird will my but my bird will die so let's move on to the next steps programming languages you must have heard a lot of things a lot of programming languages must be like c c++ java r python a lot of them um see programming language are just like uh languages or the manner in which instruction is written so uh, if i'm if i'm having if i'm explaining something to anyone i can be explaining them in english or main hindi mein bhi bata sakta hu or i can explain them in other languages also so that's just language of conveying a concept to other person same is the thing is implemented in programming languages now on the all the programming languages can be broadly classified on two concepts i believe that is types and level of programming so what is types and levels like uh, types and levels types are like the programming languages which are made to do more preferably a certain kind of task for example there will be on the basic classification there will be programming languages and scripting languages on the levels are actually the one which have developed over years so um for example in starting we were having mainframes computers and they were they were too big so in those times we were not actually using these the languages that we use today like java and python they were, they were not available at that time so at those times we were having different kind of languages moving on let's classify them on basic of types so types of programming languages programming languages i believe can be defined in two ways programming languages and scripting languages so what's the difference between both of them programming languages are the languages which are made to solve algorithmic and mathematical mathematical problems i mean they can be they can be used to solve the other kind of problems but they mostly works on uh, on solving the mathematical and algorithmic problems for example if i use c c or c++ they are more driven to solve my pro pro uh, problem in an algorithmic approach or mathematical approach for example if i want to handle some data structures that would be we will be discussing in the forward lectures or i want to or i want to array hold a specific values in a certain way i'll use programming languages but on the other hand side if i want to make a web browser or i want to make some changes in my computer i want to op make a program which opens a web browser for me and google's a specific thing i want to do in those cases i'll be using scripting languages so scripting languages are the one that i use which are having a direct connection with my operating system languages are more considered when i am having a task related to my real time environment with my operating system that is scripting languages we'll be learning more about them for example a scripting language that will be learning in the further courses will be python a uh, programming preferred language will be like c++ that will be learning okay on the second classification levels these can be classified on high level languages and low level languages let's talk about high level languages these are the languages that we actually uh, came across in day to day of our lives like the one that we hear the most for example c c++ r java python a lot of them so all of these pretty faces algorithms are high level languages right up here c python swift 
Java, C++, JavaScript, all of them. These are high level languages. These uses actually readable and direct English formats. So if I'm writing any program in these languages, I'll be able to read them in a specific English manner and easy to understand. But on the other hand side, we have low level languages. These are machine learning, machine level languages and assembly level languages. Machine machine level are the one which binary with binary numbers. So a whole instruction is written in binary numbers that is zero and one. So it's not easy for everyone or anyone to understand the codes or the instructions given into it. Other one are assembly language languages. So these are in a moderate like in between high level languages and low level languages. So these are like kind of direct instructions given but not as much as machine level uh, for example some of them is uh, the programming languages for x86 processors the fortin cobol and a lot of them so these were the these this category of languages were the used before so now we use most in most of the cases we use high level languages only For the next topic, uh, algorithms. So algorithms are set of rules to be followed in calculation with problem solving, especially by a computer. <clears throat> this will be topic that we'll be discussing in a further chapter. If you have any doubts or query, you can you can ask me and the description of my profile. Thank you.